It's been amazing. Thank you very much for letting me come all the way from the UK. <laughs> yeah, it's late here. Certainly happy to have you. Yeah, it's been great. I've stayed, stayed right through. <laughs> Just left a few minutes early last night. Haiku is a borderless state, so we do not we do not uh, restrict you from entry at the border. It's just wonderful that um, I think it's brought a lot of people together all around the world, you know, and uh, during the lockdown, it's been a, a brilliant way of communicating and, um, you know, keeping our minds off all the disasters. It's been right. good. Right. It's friendly as well. Right. I mean, you know, it's, it's so true how poetry is a way of, um, I'm not just understanding the world and understanding other people, but of healing, yeah, healing yourself. Absolutely. And you know, thinking through these things that bother that have been so troublesome over the past few years and mm -hmm. expressing them and then in a way that other people can relate to. And, and, and then you, you, you know, you just feel good having, having done that. So it's, it's a positive experience. Well, I'm a writing for wellbeing practitioner. So I do workshops with people. And um, people make quite strong bonds in the, in the regular groups, but they are able to express themselves in poetry. They tend to favor poetry rather than prose. Um, you know, that's how you can kind of encapsulate your feelings or your experience. And when you read it out with other people, there's the, um, the sort of shared experience. A lot of things are, you know, I can't think of the word. <laughs> you know felt by others there's an empathy yes yes, mm. yes. in fact you you we empathize with ourselves that comes naturally but empathizing with others takes a little yes. bit more effort but when you read somebody's poem it's natural you just sort of yeah. like you feel what somebody else feels so mm. and we get satisfaction from feeling someone else's feelings and we get satisfaction from someone reading what we've written and feeling our Absolutely. feelings so it's, it it's works both ways as a facilitator, it actually heals me as well. It, it does work both ways. Adelaide, thank you for that wonderful presentation earlier. Whoops, your mic, your microphone. Oh. Oh, unmute, okay. No, I was happy to do it. Um, uh, and, and I don't know if I told you that, you know, it was originally a mistake. Uh, when I um, emailed you, I thought I was e emailing um, Ignatius. And, and, I, and all I said was, because, you know, it was the announcement to attend. And all I, I clicked on you by mistake. And all I said was, count me in. Me, meaning count me in to, to attend. And then when you wrote back and said, oh, what are you going to do? Are you going to present a talk or a workshop? I was too embarrassed to, to write you back and say, no, I didn't think I was going to be a presenter. It was a New York I said to myself, why not? Why not? <laughs> oh, no, no, no. <laughs> You can always say no. There's, there's, there's oh, certainly no, you know, because I, 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 I just said, well, why not? You know. Uh, oh God! Well, if, 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 I'm very glad that that the, that there was that misunderstanding. That it was a wonderful misunderstanding because it resulted in you giving this talk, which was so, which was so great. So. Yeah, and, and and after you know, um the next day I told my daughter and what I did and she said oh good for you mom and I said well well now I'm nervous she says no go for it go for it so there you have it. <laughs> Zoom presentations are kind of strange. I think there's a little less anxiety than there would you know imagine giving this talk to two hundred people in a live auditorium right that would be much more anxiety inducing than I think doing it in your living room when it's on a computer screen. But still, it's 200 live human beings that are listening. So it's, 
it's you know yeah. anxious but not anxiety inducing but not quite as anxiety inducing no i i, I will say i enjoyed it and and i enjoyed uh, everyone else's presentation my gosh you organizers have done a wonderful job of of uh, uh collecting uh, su such a great group of, of presenters. Uh, each talk was, was distinctive and, and, and different, presenting a different aspect of, of haiku, uh, something uh, new or, or old, but presented in a new way. Um, very well done. Very well done. Yeah, we, I mean, we didn't want the same people that are presented last year to present this year. So it was a new field of people. Uh, so I think that sort of um, opened up the, the top, you know, the potential for different topics a bit more. But um, yeah, we selected based on variety of topic and some other criterion. And, you know, everybody was top notch. We didn't have any major technical uh, faux pas. I thought that would be an issue. Um, you know, a couple of glitches here and there, but that's to be expected. Zoom worked with this number of participants. We were a little worried about that. So, you know, it all ended up, it all came out, came out fine. Yeah, well, I was happy to do it. I, I, I was afraid that when we had our, our uh, little test run a couple of days uh, before the program, that uh, my uh, computer was going to uh, shut down on me be because of uh, the modem, uh, the Wi-Fi was weak, but uh, oh. that didn't happen. <laughs> oh, good. Very good. Yeah. Yeah. Usually when there's a Zoom interruption, I think it is on the individual's end. And, let, you know, it's not like a server level failure. It's sort of like the Wi-Fi. If you've got too many people using it in your house or whatnot, and then the bandwidth goes down and then you get garbled audio and video as a result. So we encourage people, if you have anybody else in your house while you're attending a Zoom conference like that, you know, where you're presenting, tell them not to like use the internet for like that one, that one hour. <laughs> so so there, there's gonna be a, 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 another one next year, in a, a Zoom one, or you think maybe, well, maybe what we can do it, you can do it live, maybe. Uh, yeah, well, we hope to do it live. I mean, you know, HSA is every, uh, HNA is every other year. And so what I would like hope to do is have a large in-person HSA conference, maybe to alternate with the HNA years, um, assuming COVID is, you know, has receded and conditions allow. That would be something that's nice. I'd like to organize a, a large scale, you know, in-person conference. I know a number of people have said that they like the Zoom conference because not everybody can travel or they're from very far away. So maybe we'll have some sort of hybrid model where we'll have an in-person and a maybe smaller scale, uh, uh, you know, internet-based uh, in, uh, conference. When you do have a live conference, how do you choose the locale? Um, well, you know, I mean, that's, that's interesting. It can be an extended conversation for another time. Sometimes people go West Coast, middle of the country, East Coast. Oftentimes it's convenience, you know, and you, you don't want people to travel very far, but sometimes it's just convenience. Somebody was willing to host it in a particular location. Mm -hmm. um, there's, a lot of, there's a lot of factors that go into deciding. Yeah, I, we don't know. If we were to have an in-person conference next year, we really don't know um, where it might be. That's 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 undecided. Too many undecideds at this. Well, stage. something to look forward to. All right. Thank you. Thank you very much. Um, okay, so it looks like you're a couple minutes after seven o'clock right now, and I think we're going to segue into the last very short presentation. I just would like to conclude with a few remarks uh, about the conference, and again, Haiku Society of America, and so forth, um, to wrap things up here. Uh, so Ignatius, if you could, uh, I don't need to, you're, go ahead. Okay. Thank you. It looks fine. Okay. We're going to put it on, uh, display mode here. So it's a bit larger. always cuts out it will 
Come back. There we go. There we are. And slideshow. <clears throat> I'm just gonna. There we go. Now everyone can see this, okay? I yes. can see it well. Okay, very good. So I, I would just like to take um, in closing a few uh, last remarks here. This brings to, to an end our second uh, virtual conference. And it has really been a long but exciting two days. Uh, we know it hasn't been possible for most of you to be able to take every single session in. That would simply be too much. So for that reason, we're going to make the videos of each session available to everyone uh, in just a short while. Um, these videos are gonna be uploaded to our uh, YouTube channel. And when that happens, which will probably only be in about two weeks or so, we'll send out an, uh, send out an announcement on how to access them. And in addition, many of our faculty will be making their materials available. Uh, these include the PowerPoint slides, the, you know, perhaps Annette McKino's uh, Haiga images, uh, Jamie Wimberly's videos and so forth, or links to his videos and so forth. So what we're going to do is, um, you know, at, uh, should they allow, we're going to make those materials uh, available to you also. You know, I, you know, a lot of times, some, for example, when somebody's going through a PowerPoint slide presentation, they'll go too quickly, you won't be able to take down all the notes. So if you want those slides, please let us know. We'll ask the, uh, the authors and we'll see if we can't get them for you. Um, regarding contacts, we also realized that there simply wasn't enough time to ask all of the questions that you might have had. As you saw, the, uh, the, the scroll bar, the chat scroll bar is fast and furious. Uh, you know, like the comments come so quickly, it's, you know, even, even if you stare at it, you sometimes can't take them all in at, at once. So for this reason, um, if you had questions that didn't get answered and you wanted to follow up with one of the presenters, um, we can try to make themselves available to you by email um, so that you can continue the conversation. Likewise, if you met somebody in the social mixer or just during any of the interactive periods of the conference and you'd like to get, a, you know, you, you um, remember their name, but you don't have their contact information, let us know and we can, um, at their discretion, give you their, their contact info. Mentions of appreciation. <clears throat> We'd like to thank everybody who participated in this venture, and there were many. Um, that includes each of the presenters, the moderators, uh, who, you know, who all put in a lot of hard work. Um, all of the participants as well, we thank you for signing up and, and listening in. Um, as you know, Haiku is an entirely volunteer activity. We, we do this for love, not for money. And uh, without your dedication, the movement would simply stagnate. Um, in concluding, I'd like to also thank the members of the executive committee. Now, many of you, many of you might not know who these people are, but this is sort of like the core group at the society. Uh, we meet monthly. We make you know decisions regarding what to, uh, you know what to do, um, and. Um, you know, they play, many of these people are, you know, have also played a role in the conference. They, they put their time and effort in, and they've also been working very hard behind the scenes at the society to bring what this, you know, to do everything that society does. So I'd like to thank Gary Hotham, who's first vice president, uh, Chuck Brickley, second vice president, Tom Sacramona, who is our new Frog Pond editor. That edition will be out on your doorstep soon. Um, Ignatius Fay, who's our HSA newsletter editor and who was behind the scenes both days helping out with technical support, along with uh, um, Nick. So uh, we thank both you guys for that. And then Diane Garcia, our secretary, Bill Deegan, our treasurer, Randy Brooks, who helped moderate and was also, is also our electronic media officer. So um, much of what we do is also not possible without our regional coordinators. These are the people who are in the different parts of the US 
who uh, organize the regional meetings and you know, they're bringing people together and helping to teach and spread haiku. So our thanks go out to them as well. Um, and, uh, you know, again, there's, there's too many people to thank by name for this. It's, it's a group effort. And uh, we really appreciate all of you who like put, who put your time and energy into this endeavor to really move haiku well, forward. Well, hi, Sharon. Did you make it through? Whew, that was a long conference. So <laughs> we got some audio going here. <laughs> um, so anyway, I wanted to say cheers and happy haikuing to all of you. Uh, you know, we, you know, I, there's not much more to say other than um, contact us, give us feedback about the conference. So, um, you know, we'd like to know what we did right and what you think could be improved. So what did you like? Uh, you can, in fact, you can email me directly at j.friedenberg at gmail.com. And um, tell us, what did you like about the conference? What would you like to see more of? Did we not do something that you'd like to see featured perhaps next year? And we could, uh, we could include that. Um, was there something that you disagreed with? Is there a suggestion for how to change it? So um, we, I would appreciate, uh, we would all appreciate your feedback in, in, in terms of improving things and, and making them better as, as we go along. So uh, with that, I shall bid you all adieu. Thank you very much for, for your attendance. Thank you very much, Jay. Thank you. Thank, thank, thank you, everybody. Thank you. Hey, flap for everybody. Brilliant. Absolutely brilliant. Great. Great. Thank you, Ignatius, for hosting all of this. It must have been exhausting, but it's been brilliant. Thank you very much. And we'll see you all in the various journals for the next year. Yep. Let's hope. <laughs> all right. Bye. Thank you. Bye. God bless. Bye bye, everybody. We'll be bye. in touch. Bye, beautiful people. Don't be strangers. <laughs> <laughs> bye bye. Goodbye. Bye bye. Bye bye. Bye bye. bye, -bye. <laughs>